the president is going to act or executive orders, executive action that can be taken. We haven't decided what that is yet, but we're compiling it all with the help of the attorney general and, uh, and all the rest of the cabinet members, as well as legislative action we believe is required. So, um, Hey YouTube, uh, naturalprepper.com here, and I uh, want you to hear a little bit from this channel Nut and Fancy, N-U-T-N-F-A-N-C-Y, check them out, but uh, let's just listen for a second if you haven't already heard this. How's this? We are going to march on the state capitals here in the United States in support of our constitutional freedoms. Are you in? I hope so. Anyway, they're talking about January the 19th, which is, you know, just a little over a week away. And um, I had watched this a couple days ago, and then I was checking out the Haas USMC for United States Marine Corps. And if you don't watch his channel, go check him out. But here's what he had to say. you guys too so uh, long story short there is a march on the state capitals on February 8th that I will be attending uh, in Oregon and in every state I mean I won't be attending the ones in every state but that's where February 8th March on the capitals it has come to my attention that someone else on YouTube has been promoting January 19th uh, because it's before any bill for the assault weapons ban would be introduced um, which is I mean that's fine but anyway long story short January 19th and February 8th there will be a march on the capitals I just won't be at any of them on the 19th unfortunately So, um, I guess one of my big questions is, have any of you guys heard any other people talking about this? Um, it's only a few short days away, really, January 19th, and apparently there's already the second one getting scheduled. Um, you know, I think uh, it's probably a good time that we do start uh, taking our signs that we make and going and taking them to the steps of our leaders and letting them know how we feel. Uh, helps draw some attention to the subject and also uh, gives us a format to do so and it is protected in the Constitution that we are allowed to redress our government with our grievances. Um, so protesting is not against the law. Um, you know, I'm still making my mind up about this, but I've got a very good feeling that on January 19th, if I can get word that really anybody's going, um, I'll drive two hours to our state capitol, Mike and I will, and we'll film for you guys that uh, couldn't make it to one, and uh, let's see how it goes, but, you know, there was uh, people protesting uh, the Occupy movement. Um, I'm not getting into an Occupy discussion here, but my point I'm trying to make simply is this. Um, there was people that uh, made a stink. Uh, you know, maybe they didn't do it the way that a lot of us would have done it, but it can be done. Um, we can get a lot of people to come out uh, and stand up for our Second Amendment rights. And I want to take that step further. It's not just a Second Amendment. Um, even if you do not own a gun or care about owning a gun, or uh, even if you would like to see guns off the streets, it's a matter of if they take away one amendment what's to stop them from taking the others, you know, and um, there's a lot of uh, reason behind the Second Amendment, and it is still valid today, and it's not about hunting. Um, it's not, uh, hunting has nothing to do with the Second Amendment. Hunting is a byproduct of the Second Amendment, um, but it shouldn't matter if it affects you or not in your personal world, you should still feel a need to stand up and support our Constitution and support um, 
you know, the hypocrisy and tyranny that comes along with whenever somebody uh, just ignores our Constitution and our, our Congress. It's, it's unacceptable. Um, I have a friend on Facebook, uh, which I'm trying to wean myself off of Facebook, but uh, he sent me a message, and, um, you know, ever since we were in high school together, and I'm in my... I'm 41. Ugh. But, so, anyway, I've known him for a couple decades, but even in high school, he was a hunter, you know, he showed up at school with the shotgun hanging on the back rack of his pickup truck, and uh, he's always just been that person, and he made a comment to me yesterday that uh, he sent it to me in private message that... He's just keeping his mouth shut. He's staying out of the radar. Um, his plans, you know, this, plans that. But Big Brother's watching and da-da-da. And you know what? That is tyranny. He's so afraid of the repercussions of posting pictures on Facebook or making videos like I do. Uh, he's so afraid of the government that he won't do that. And that is tyranny. And it was really kind of a, one of those little slaps in the face when I, I was like, well, you're afraid? That is tyranny. And that is why the Second Amendment was created. So I think it's kind of important that we get our shit together and we start planning some protests, whether they're locally, statewide, nationwide. Um, I'm curious. I, you know, I'm down the 81 corridor on the western side of Virginia in the Shenandoah Valley, and if anybody is in this general area, um, you know, and you'd like to talk about organizing something, uh, you know, group from this area, go in that direction, whatever. I just want to know where you are at your home state. Are you planning to attend any of these events? And also to let you know that we will be going and we will have our camera and how sad it's going to be if we get there and there's nobody there but us to support the Second Amendment. Um, protesting can be scary for people who have never done it. Um, really, it's not that bad, guys. You hold a sign, you chant some chants, police walk around the outside to intimidate you, and then you go home. And, um, you know, I mean, it could escalate after a while, but the first few protests aren't going to be anything to be afraid of and it's your right it's part of your right and just like my friend on Facebook afraid to speak up that's when you know it's time to speak up that's when it has gotten to the bone is when you have American citizens that are afraid to exercise their First Amendment <sighs> because of their government that means it's not our government our government was never designed to make us afraid of them and that is tyranny and Jefferson and Washington and Madison, they all told us it was going to be that way. So, why ignore the blueprint, you know? Wake up, smell the coffee, get your shit together, and let's plan some demonstrations to let them know. We do stand behind the NRA, or we stand behind the gun owners of America, or we stand behind just our own God-given rights. Um... Not only God-given rights, but forefather-given rights. Um, this is the reason why they left and came over here. You know, over taxation and disarmament. So many things that if we walk down this path, guys, it, let me know what you think. Let me know if you're planning on going to any of these events. And um, I think I'm probably going to try to put together some flyers, take them down to my gun shop, um, some pawn shops, places like that, try to get some people aware of it, make some videos, um, and, you know, I probably will make a video that you guys can share on your Facebook pages, um, that will be promoting this, um, so let's see what happens, but I am curious to hear feedback on the idea of doing protest, so... Let me know your thoughts. Uh, make sure you like, comment, sub, and spread the word.